Alrighty folks, we're back again. All right. Dynamic duo once again. And going. we're heading off to Sleok this time. And hopefully get a summit camp up there. So we've literally just left the car park. Just grabbed some water yeah. to keep us going. And we've got the mighty Ben A range to keep us company along this track. Being the height of summer, the bracken is pretty high. At least there's a few walkers ahead of us getting the ticks off. Tick paranoid now. Says me it's wearing shorts. Finally made it to the end of the path where it starts heading uphill now. It took its time but we're here. It's absolutely roasting man. Ooh. We're making progress but it's slow progress in this heat. It's That's hot, 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 hot. Four o'clock. We've been gabbing to folk that are coming down right enough, so that's killed a bit of time, but... Everybody's promised us a breeze when we get round into the quarry, so... Fingers crossed, because I am melting. Here's some more walkers coming down. I'm melting as well. Melting Mowbray. It's hot. What's the time, Kev? I don't know if we're going to make it to the top. The heat, lack of food, lack of sleep. It's too windy. The two of us are paggered. Can't put the walk in. So we're, going to, the sorry. so we're going to get a wrap there now. See if that perks us up. And take it from there. Trying everything here. We're going for these daft protein shakes for Tribe. Not the greatest tasting things in the world, but yeah. Two tribes go to war. We need to pull something out of the bag because we're bloody toiling here. Is my face clean? Right. That's us fueled up with some macro wraps. A little protein bar and one of these protein recovery shakes. And let's hope it perks us up a bit. I do feel a wee bit better now, but uh, I'll soon find out. We've still got the real grunt here. Right, decision time. We've reached the lock in. There's roughly 300 metres to go to the summit. I think we'd be daft. It's half five. How are you feeling, Kev? Aye. That wee, Aye, pro I'm all right. that wee protein shake. It's done the job. Aye, I thought so. <laughs> right, let's get some water. Oh man. I don't know if this is temporary, but we've just carried water 300 metres for nothing. I don't remember this first time round. Sod's law. Region. See when Kev sees that, he's going to moan as well. Anyway, literally 80 to 100 metres to the summit. Well, the trig point's just up there, but the trig point's not the true summit. The true summit's just a little bit further on. Whoa. Both of us have had a second window, raring to go. It's now just after six, so we've got 
about three and a half hours to sunset. Right, so that's the trig point. This isn't the summit though. The summit is just that cairn there. And there we go. The summit of Sleok. Wow. The views are tremendous. Oof, long way down. Wow, that is amazing. So yeah, there's a Vajan, Rue Stackmore and Chalik. Just pointing out again, our summit camp from yesterday. I don't know if the GoPro can pick that out, but Lewis and Harris is just on the horizon there. Sinking in nicely. Aye. Tonight I'm having macaroni cheese. I've started writing the measurements on the back, so that's full line G and 200 ml of water but I'll be honest with you I've stopped using the fill line because you either put too much or too little in so what I do is I use this as my measuring jug and I'll just put in a slightly bit more just to make up for evaporation with the boiling and it tends to be absolutely perfect that way just don't worry about fill lines just pour it all in honestly it's perfect Anyway, I'm going to chill out for now. I'll bring you back later on after dinner. Well, folks, that's the sunset yet again. It was pretty much a carbon copy of last night. It just, there was a banky cloud out in the Atlantic and it just sort of sunk below that. Uh, so I'm going to make myself a little pre-bed snack. I've got some uh, noodles there. But I'm going to hit the hay and I'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers. Good morning campers Well, well, well That was the stillest night ever Listen to that Nothing That was one of the best sleeps I've ever had Went to bed about 10ish And that was me till about 4 Woke up briefly and then back to sleep again. That's me just up now. And it's uh, half five. Unfortunately, due to the still conditions, there is a wee bit of condensation, but um, that's to be expected. Right, I got up 10 minutes later. <laughs> There's the sun just rising through the cloud there, so it's not the best sunrise ever, but I think this will all burn off. Wonder where Kev disappeared to. Morning Kev. Good morning, how are we? Not too bad, good sleep eh? Yeah, probably the best sleep I've had. In I'd say so, I think. Tent. Yeah, because it was quite tired. So I just had a wee wander up there, and then over there this morning for sunrise. Wasn't as good as yesterday. I had the nice, well, I had a sort of nice little red ball that sort of was obscured by the clouds. Aye, when you were over there, it lit up that wee lock in there. Uh, it's quite, it's nice. quite nice like. I think I needed that sleep because that was tough yesterday, you know what I mean? Aye, we had to dig deep, eh? Well, we must, it was a good few hours coming off what that uh, Corbett. Aye. And then obviously, round here, lack of food, heat exhaustion, I think, set in as well, and just tiredness, eh? Just for lack of sleep. But I think we, when we had that sun eat down there, we did get a second, our second uh, window. Aye, yeah, we. Uh, um, those uh, protein shakes were good. The, Did it taste good, but the 
just filled us up. He did the job, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm just about on the boil, so see you in a minute. <laughs> plan is we're heading back up and over the summit and then we go along this nice little ridge there and then there's a Munro top at the end of the ridge and then we'll head down and then back to the car. Righty-o, back at the summit. Cloud inversion over there in the north. Loch Marie. Right, so we're just uh, heading along the ridge towards the other top. Shaping up to be another fine day as well. Just seen the uh, small herd of feral goats. They can fair shift because they're out of sight already. If only we could move that fast and on and off the hill. <clears throat> I've got fond memories of Sleok. This was my 100th Munro back in the day. I think it was like 2010 or 11. And on the same day, my friend Anne, she got her third round of Munros as well. So there was quite a few of us at the summit, celebrated with champagne and all that. It's good to come back on a wild camp and get a bit of a different perspective of the mountain. So yeah, we were camped just in here. You've got the two tops. That one there is obviously the true summit. And then just ahead of us, we've got the lovely looking Munro top to do as well. Nice wee ridge, eh? It's a lovely little ridge. Ridge about ridge face. Boaty about ridge face. I was going to say, that's no people at the summit, eh? It's just goats. That's the goats. See, they keep following us. We move one top, they move one top. One of the goats. One of the goats. Goaty make goat face. Hello! Is it me you're looking for? All right. That's us on the summit now. I actually just startled four deer down there as well. Kev's left his camera fill it up. Can't take me anywhere, eh? Just nah. there a wee bit. As we... I went to take my fleece off, I had it around my neck. I've obviously forgot to <laughs> get and put it back on. Oh, your, your wee tourist strap. Your wee touristy, touristy strap. I'm going to keep moving because the midges are out. There's the herdy goats again. They have been following us all the way around. Seriously, they have. Inquisitive creatures. He's found his camera. I said I'd meet him back in the car. But then he shouted back, hey, it's your turn on the macro wraps. So I suppose I better wait on him. Just a little bit down here. So yeah, it's a long descent down. We pick up the path roughly here. And then that's us back all the way down to Kinlock U where the car's parked. Right folks, that's us on the path back down to the car that we were on yesterday, so it seems like a good time to wrap up the video. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. 
If you haven't watched part one of this trip, I'll link that in the bottom left hand corner. If you're interested in what I take when I'm wild camping, I'll put that in the bottom right hand corner. And if you haven't already, please subscribe by hitting my serious looking hiker face now. Otherwise, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!